One of the interesting things I've noticed over the past couple of days is the damage uh, damage control for Power World, right? You know, we all know what happened with Power World. You know, it exploded on the scene for two weeks because people thought that it was going to be a Pokemon killer. You know, people went out and supported it because it thought it would be like some big, massive L for Nintendo. You know, uh, people played it for two weeks and then like it fell off a cliff, right? The game lost like 90% of, 95% of its player base, right? And ever since then, people have been like, uh, trying to do damage control, trying to convince us that the game is good, that, like, you simply ran out of content and that people are just done playing it. But what actually happened is that, like, uh, people got bored of it and stopped playing, you know, because it takes, like, a good 30 hours to get through, like, everything in Power World, my, my understanding of that. And the fact that, like, so many people drop the game so quickly really demonstrates just how little long-term appeal this game is going to have. You know, that, that's been very obvious for a long time. That was obvious to me from the get-go. But right now, we're kind of in this um, this phase where Gamdronos and YouTubers are seriously going to try to push this early access game as one of the best of the year. You know, I've seen IGN do this. I've seen Mudahar do this, right? They're trying to, like, convince people that, like, oh, just because this game fell off, that doesn't mean it was a bad game. Oh, like, they're trying to convince you that because it rose to, like, such heights for reasons completely arbitrary to like the uh the actual quality of the game right like it, it had nothing to do with power world itself or its quality or whatever like it was just to spite pokemon fans it was just to spite nintendo fans right but because of that because like these people are so desperate to see nintendo fail so desperate to see pokemon fail right in particular that they are going to pretend that power world was one of the best games of the year even though this obviously isn't true nobody who plays the game would call it like a masterpiece right even if you liked it i don't think anybody would like again like the only people i see bringing up power world at all in 2024 you know march uh, well we're at the end of march now but the only people i see bringing up power world now are people who are desperately trying to convince you that like oh uh, power world does things that like pokemon never will so that makes it the better game hey genius Power World is generic. It's uninspired. It's like every other game in a genre, right? Like, <laughs> like why? What exactly does Power World do that's remarkable, right? The only thing you you have going for this game is that like, oh, it 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 rips off Pokemon, right? Like it has Pokemon metal. So, but like it, you're completely misrepresenting like the Pokemon franchise. You're misrepresenting the tone. You're just getting excited over like something, something. Uh, some sloppy sloppily done like copycat right like just because it's like a, a pc game really you know it's the stardew valley of the pokemon community right it's a cheap knockoff of a of something that is iconic and beloved by a lot of people right and uh with pokemon it's it's getting really obvious to me that there are a lot of active agents who are trying to get poke uh are trying to make Pokemon a declining brand, right? You're actively seeing people like aggressively go after Pokemon all the time. You're they're saying the games don't evolve, they do. They're trying to say Game Freak is one of the worst developers in the industry. They aren't. You know, like a lot of these people are going out defending like Capcom, CD Project Red and and whatever, but you know, somehow the Pokemon company is terrible. You know, we saw this with Gamergate too as well, right? You know, people tried desperately to bring to bring Pokemon into it, right? They they tried to like say that like, oh, this female model is uh, looks slightly ugly. I guess it's uh, I guess it's DEI. Like, never mind that that has nothing to do with like what's actually going on with Gamergate Two and Sweepy being incorporated and like you know all the real problems. Like you see, you saw this happen last time with Gamergate as well. You know, people started noticing like localization issues with anime and video games, and what happened? You know, people tried to convince themselves that Nintendo was the absolute worst when it came to that. You know, you know Dragon Quest Eight. Dragon Quest VIII is a good example, right? People assumed Nintendo was behind the censorship of that port, but in reality, that was entirely like a Square Enix thing, right? Like, people tried convincing us that, like, Nintendo was, like, the worst when it came to that kind of thing, and and that wasn't the case at all. And and they're trying to do it now with Sweet, uh, Sweet Baby Incorporated, right? Nintendo has not been associated with Sweet Baby at all, and yet you're still trying to see people come out and say that, like, oh, uh, Nintendo is doing it too. Are they? 
like i haven't seen any evidence of that like nothing at all other than like some localization issues and that's easily remedied with a patch or like getting these people fired right like i don't see like nintendo making woke statements or like caving to woke demands or anything like it hasn't happened you know like literally every jap other japanese developer is doing it you know arc system works capcom uh square enix but not nintendo namco bandai not nintendo right like it's just um it's one of those things that just frustrates me to no end is is just seeing these people try desperately to attack nintendo right what happened with yuzu right people tried to say they were anti-consumer for stopping piracy like what sense does that make and and now with power world and i do think this is a big reason why the the community is rallying behind it so much um power world they legit thought they had an opportunity at like dismantling the pokemon brand right they thought they had a pokemon killer on their hands right they thought that they could get this game out there like shill it and uh get it played by enough people get it popular enough like oh i'll get the merchandise out there you know like power world become the biggest thing on the planet and that simply didn't happen right the game hasn't even left early access yet and it's already it's already fallen off but we are seeing people come out and shill for it right we are seeing people trying to damage control for it you know trying to trying to pretend as if like what they did wasn't terrible and that the game isn't bad like like oh people are just getting tired of it like like power world is just like a complete like obje objective disappointment a failure right especially con considering like it's only a matter of time until nintendo starts uh coming after them for the misuse of the pokemon license right the uh, the pokemon character don't try to tell me that like oh nintendo can't come after them because you tried the same thing with yuzu right and look what happened there that got taken down so i do think it's only a matter of time like the question now is um the uh, the community has made it very clear as, as to what's going to happen when nintendo finally cracks down on this right they are going to revolt they are going to try to make a controversy out of this right and i think that is the big reason why jeff Keeley is so is so keen on it defending power world because if you actually look at the game awards you'll see that pokemon never ever wins anything you know it never gets nominated it never gets addressed you know legends arceus won my uh, the bed the, the superior game of the year award for 2022 but like uh jeff Keeley didn't even nominate it like it wasn't even mentioned in the entire show right that was a great game you know that was the innovation uh that people pretend that power world was right legends was amazing and yet you would never see Keeley acknowledge that and yet somehow uh he's front and center like shilling for shilling for a uh, power world you know right out of the gate you know, like, again, this kind of goes into what I was saying, like, early on, is that, like, it feels weirdly forced, doesn't it, right? Where, like, people have lost interest with Power World, uh, people aren't talking about it. Even when, like, Pokemon Day hit, I was kind of surprised, you know, how little Power World came up in that entire discussion, right? It's becoming very apparent to me, you know, as a Pokemon fan, that the people who are, like, obsessed with Power World and want to see it, like, destroy Pokemon were never actually fans of the Pokemon license to begin with right like it's very very noticeable and i i do think that um there is going to i am starting to see like the beginnings of a rumbling of a backlash right because people are tired of seeing these people come out and try and try talking about pal world you know oh uh, uh, they're adding a new pal this week like pokemon release hundreds of new uh characters every generation right that's normal for them you know and yet we're supposed to get hyped for like power world dropping a pal like two months in. no fuck you like that's nothing to get excited about you know like what is power world is done okay like there isn't there isn't going to be like some resurgence in popularity you know uh it's not going to be that big of a deal it, it was never a big deal to begin with right you know it was the Baldur's gate three of this year in a lot of ways where people tried pretending the game was a lot more mainstream than it was because like oh look at these player counts look at these uh, streamers hyping the game up it's the biggest thing ever and yet it fell off within two weeks right and yeah people are going to continue like complaining about pokemon but it's not going to stick, you know? Like, I think Legends already kind of proved this, like, in that regard. Like, if people were actually interested in playing new, interesting takes on Pokemon, they would have supported Legends, you know? Like, it, it does kind of feel like uh, the people who are, you know, coasting off a of Dexit or whatever, 
Like they are completely reliant on just like the jaded older audience. You know, once that audience gets bored of complaining about Pokemon all the time and it gets overwhelmed by people who still enjoy the games, right? There's not really going to be much else they can do, honestly. You know, like like Pokemon is still and always has been an extremely high quality franchise. Right. To me, it's just kind of laughable seeing people like try to put on this this facade of saying that, like, oh, uh, the game is. The game is uh, the games are bad now. Oh, and it, and it simply isn't true. Right. You know, I've talked about this a lot, but to me, uh, the attempts at like hyping up Power World and downplaying Pokemon are going to end in failure. Right. This is absolutely another example of what happens when you try and go up with Pokemon. You know, Digimon tried and failed. Yokai Watch tried and failed. Pow World tried and failed, right? It's the same thing we've been seeing since the 90s. You know, Pokemon is still going strong. 